A dead mouse that is caught in a snap trap should be handled and disposed of properly to minimize the risk of getting hantavirus cardiopulmonary syndrome, a rare but potentially fatal disease associated with deer mice. This video will demonstrate how to safely clean up and dispose of a dead trapped mouse. The first step in disposing of a trapped rodent occurs before the trap has been set. Those responsible for rodent control should have access to a cleanup kit. Kits should include a disinfectant solution, non-absorbent gloves, plastic bags, and absorbent materials. Many disinfectants are available. The kit used here contains a pre-mixed disinfectant already in a spray bottle. When choosing a disinfectant, make sure the label states the disinfectant kills viruses and follow the label directions and contact time for disinfecting surfaces. If you have a concentrated disinfectant, your kit should also have an appropriate measuring cup and separate spray bottle for applying the diluted solution. A 10% household bleach solution is also effective but it is important to remember that once mixed, this bleach solution is only effective for 24 hours. Once the kit is assembled, it should be kept in a readily accessible place. Because transmission of hantavirus is associated with urine, droppings, and body fluids from infected mice, the trap should be decontaminated prior to disposal. Non-absorbent gloves, such as vinyl, rubber, or latex gloves, should be worn when disposing of a trapped rodent or cleaning up any rodent-contaminated areas. The trap, carcass, and surrounding areas should be sprayed with a disinfectant and allowed to sit to allow the disinfectant to work. The amount of time you must allow will vary depending on the disinfectant type and will be indicated on the label. The disinfectant shown here specifies waiting 10 minutes. While waiting for the disinfectant to work, now is a good time to look around the immediate area for other signs of rodent contamination or ingress. Areas with mouse droppings should also be disinfected before cleaning up. Tips for preventing mouse infestations are provided in related videos. After allowing the disinfectant to work, you can now dispose of the rodent and the trap by placing the trapped rodent into a plastic bag. The area where the trap was set should be wiped down and all contaminated trash should also be placed into the bag. After sealing the bag, it should be placed into another plastic bag, sealed, and disposed of as regular garbage. If you are using reusable gloves, disinfect them prior to storing. Finally, wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water. If you wish to reuse the snap trap, while keeping the trap at arm's length, remove the rodent by lifting the spring bar and allow the mouse carcass to drop into the plastic bag. After the carcass has been removed from the trap, thoroughly wet down the trap with disinfectant and allow it to dry. Hantavirus cardiopulmonary syndrome can be prevented by keeping rodents out of buildings and cleaning up rodent contaminated areas in a safe manner. By following the simple steps outlined here, you can minimize your risk of hantavirus infection. For more information, please visit our website.